Hello. This is just going to be a new series about my updates to my music library. And I think it would be a little interesting to see what I have. So I'm just going to show you what my most recent batch of added songs have been. So most of my music from this batch is, um, I think it's two Duster albums. Uh, Duster's a uh, band I've been starting to listen to more and more. Originally I did listen just because of the fucking Sisyphus meme, which I had that song after I heard that meme, but then later I listened to 1975 and I listened to tra uh, Transmission Flux I listen to contemporary movement and um yeah to just fucking summarize it up it's that other album i i listen to them and they really do give some sort of calming essence you know a calming essence that somehow feels very saddening but still has some warmth it's like visit it's like going to an old home that you used to live at it really does remind me of my old house. You know, it's something you do miss, but then it's something that is still kind of scary to you. Um, next one is Peanut Butter Jelly Time. Um, Peanut Butter Jelly Time is a goaded ass song, and Ice Cream and Cake is an even better sequel to that. It would, it's best paired with peanut butter jelly time. This ice cream and cake. There are two bangers, okay? Rest in peace to the lead singer. Um, I'm glad that his greatest performance will forever be immortalized in the greatest song ever. And my next couple of songs are all nightcore songs. Okay, I'm... Listen... I can get down with some Nightcore, alright? Come on. You cannot sleep on it. You can't sleep on Nightcore. It's mostly because I already have a pre to to Hardstyle and Gabber and stuff like that. It's definitely not the same Gabber and Nightcore, but, you know, they have relations like that. Um, next one is Kerosene and Untrust Us from Crystal Castles. Um, I have had, um, another Crystal Castle song, it's pretty much the, again, the one that everyone knows from Crystal Castles, it's that one. And then I also got Untrust Us and Kerosene, I heard Kerosene, I'm positive it was from like a fucking reel or some bullshit like that, because of the sound it has, and Untrust Us, I don't remember where I heard it from. I think it was like on a YouTube playlist or some shit like that, and I was just listening. It sounds great. I fucking love Untrust uh, Untrust Us is really good. Has that weird um, TTS robot and kerosene. It's fucking. It's so gritty, dark and gritty. It's that shit is that's a dubious beat, bro. And the next is Caramel Dancing. Are you kidding me? I'm surprised myself it wasn't already in my library. It's just a banger, dude. It's a walking banger. He can't. Listen, I'm, drink I'm drinking vitamin water. Okay, side note. I was out with this dude, and I told him my favorite drink is vitamin water. He said, oh yeah, well, my favorite is the acai blueberry pomegranate. I said, what are you talking about? He said the acai blueberry pomegranate, the one they have at uh, the one they have at Subway that's on tap. And I tell him what the fuck is that? And he said the triple X. What is wrong with that guy? That guy calls the vitamin water by their flavor and not the, not the name of it. I'm like, yeah, I drink triple X. What's that's my favorite flavor? He's like, yeah, that's my favorite flavor too. I'm like, just call it triple X. And he's like, no, it's acai blueberry pomegranate. So yeah, he didn't get a message back. I didn't call him back. I didn't, I'm not talking to him anymore. What fucking weirdo. Okay, anyways. Oh god, this shit's embarrassing. 
I know that you'll miss Obama from Rucka Rucka Ali. If you don't like it for the sense of it being offensive, I mean, he already won. So you can kind of grow up about that. The song, the songs are very fucking fun. They're beyond tasteless. Like, I feel like even at the time they were made, which was like, what, five or ten years ago? It's still beyond tasteless, and I fucking love it for it. Literally, I know that you, Miss Obama has some of the worst black jokes I've ever heard, but it's just so funny. And I don't have the original song in my library, like the parody of it, so that'll make up for it, but... Again, it's something I listened to a lot in middle school, because that shit was a certified banger when I was, what, like, fucking 13 years old. I wouldn't listen to it if I never listened to Raka Raka Ali at any point. Like, these jokes are fucking horrible. Like, there, if, there's, like, multiple jokes about Obama being a woman abuser and Kentucky Fried Chicken, which I can guess, I know you can guess what relation that would have to Barack Obama. Next song is Meet the Grams, and might as well just group it with it, Not Like Us. Now, I don't think I need to provide a reason as to why I have these two, it's fucking everywhere. This is shit my co-workers are talking about, you know how deep that has to be? You know how popular something has to be in order for my co-workers to talk about it? Like, come on, uh, consider the fact that most of them haven't heard Meet the Grams, it's just been not like us, which I can understand. It's obvious, um, someone other than Kendrick's usual producers made it, and, uh, it's been just fucking beautiful to see how Kendrick has crafted such a unique song every time. You know, Not Like Us being produced by DJ Mustard makes sense. Meet the Grams being produced by The Alchemist makes sense too. It is a dark beat. It fucked me up the first time I listened to it. Like, it was, it didn't even leave me happy. I was sitting, just sitting and thinking. It was a dark ass beat. Last song is, um, Mr. Douchebag by Ray William Johnson. Listen, me and Mr. Johnson have a spiritual connection because we share birthdays. Fun fact. But, again, it's a, it's kind of like a Rucka Rucka Ollie thing. I listened to uh, Your Favorite Martian when I was younger. It's something I 100% wouldn't listen to now considering Ray William Johnson has made majorly distasteful music in his Your Favorite Martian project. And uh, those are all of the songs that I've added as of recently. Um, I'll, I'll, hit, I'll, I'll um, talk to you next time. I download some more music. And of course, if you need a resource, all of these songs have been sourced off of Soulseek. This is Lars Ulrich coming at you live. Don't copy that floppy.